Have you heard any Democrat call for civility? Has anyone on the left said, hey, tone it down? If they've said it, I haven't heard it, but I have seen the results. When Hillary says, you can't be civil, and when a former attorney general says, kick them, you get this. In Portland, Oregon, this weekend, there were street battles. That is ugly in the extreme. Just look at it. And before that, a rash of confrontations. The left getting in the face of anyone pro-Trump. Confronted on the street, confronted inside the halls of Congress, harassed at their own front door. This is Trump derangement syndrome taken to the streets. This is the resistance. If nobody is calling a halt, the left must believe it's a winning strategy. Clearly, they believe their contempt and flat-out hatred of the president will pay political dividends. The elections are 22 days away. I think they're wrong. First of all, this emotional negativity is simply an attempt to cover up Mr. Trump's obvious success with the economy. The Democrats have no plan for prosperity, Medicare for all, free college, open borders. These are not growth policies. They are tax, tax, and tax some more policies. Nothing to do with prosperity. Second, I don't think America likes political violence. It's not the American way, is it? Now, that may seem strange coming from someone with a very foreign accent, but I've watched and been a part of this country most of my adult life. We vote. We campaign hard. But we don't fight in the street. We don't shout down our opponents, and we don't encourage the mob. If all you've got is contempt, confrontation, and fighting in the streets, you should lose. America surely prefers jobs to mobs.